Forget cheesy pickup lines. If you really want to win her heart, pick up cooking. In our second episode for this week's gastrosexual challenge, private dining chef Adika Maxi whips up a white marinara black pasta. The 24-year-old is also the co-author of Bachelor's Banquet, a new cookbook that's made its way to Kinokuniya's bestsellers bookshelf within just five days of release. In this clip, Maxi and co-author Nicholas Lin show us a recipe that they guarantee will win over any girl. So guys, pay attention! Alright, so we got the pasta, yeah? So Nick is gonna help you with um, blanching the pasta. Okay. So we have pre-cooked this pasta yesterday, I mean uh, this, this morning, we pre-cooked this pasta so it's uh, almost al dente. So what we're gonna do is we have a pot of boiling water and we're just going to like refresh it a little bit and heat it up. So in the meantime, we can butterfly the shrimp. You wanna butterfly that so you take it out? How many have we prepared for today? I have four because there are four gases. I guess that's probably why I'm making it again. <laughs> so it's like it's, it's almost like a sure thing for me, you Two know. Two times lucky, huh? Two times lucky, maybe third time. For this week's gastrosexual challenge, I give Maxi top marks for his cooking technique. He's confident, creative, and precise. So how did our young chef learn such refined kitchen techniques? During his three-year stay in New York, which ended early this year, he spent six months learning classic French cooking at the French Culinary Institute and two years working as a station chef in restaurant Gordon Ramsay under two Michelin stars hit chef Josh Emmett. One of the most famous in the world, the restaurant also attracts many international celebrities. The Spice Girls were big when I was younger. Yeah. So I guess to, like, to actually meet like uh, one of the scary Spice actually, she, she likes Fargra and like, you know, she... Melanie B. Melanie B, yeah, I guess she would like come in and say hi. And um, that was nice of her. And uh, who else there? Ricky Gervais from hi. my favorite show, The Office, came in. <laughs> And then David Beckham was like, you know, sometimes he's there because he's a good friend. David well, da David came in a few times. You're on a first name basis with David now? No, David Beckham. <laughs> David! So the pasta is going. It's, it's almost cooked and uh, refreshed. It's almost hot. Two, so. two, two minutes. Yeah, two, two, two minutes two more minutes and it should two. be done. Uh, I'm going to oil the board and Max is going to sear the shrimp. So I'm going to oil the board a little bit. I'm going to cut, the, I'm going to scoop the squid first actually. So uh, always season your, your, your squid first. And I butterfly the, 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 the squid before, okay. just to make sure they curl, you know, it's for better presentation, I guess. Oh, you can smell it. Can you smell that? Mm. Quite nice, you know? I love the sound of that. You know? Yeah, that is the first thing that you need. I'm going to start cutting the tomatoes. We, over here, we have assorted cherry tomatoes. We have the red ones and we have the orange ones and we have these big fat ones as well and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut them up into nice discs so just very slow, carefully, evenly cut them up into discs we're gonna use this partly as a garnish as well as, as a flavoring component so you need like, I guess I want two or three different um, colors in there just to add some color to the dish and really thinly slice well done Come on, How's the tomato? Done. Good. Yeah, so tomato. now after this, we're gonna start cooking the clams. These clams, some of them are, are open, and if they are open before cooking, that's when you have to like discard them. These are bad. Some of them are bad, but if you press them and it still closes like that one, then it's it's fresh. And we have um, a light tomato sauce that's been made with the prawn head. So, so this, this is pre-made. Right? We made it beforehand because um, I don't want the. I want to, when I use something when I let's, let's say I use some prawn. I want to use the whole part of the prawn, so no waste. Right. The skin and the head. I just want them to like um, so there's no waste, you know. So you use the whole thing. So the prawn flavor is also in there. Okay. So I guess and then we're gonna mix it here. So it's gonna steam fry. So how do you make that sauce? The sauce for this is basically you got some um, oil in the pan, some garlic, 
some um, tomato, front head in the body, and just saute it down, some water, let it down. Okay. Let it cool. And then um, we're gonna add some dashi later on, which is um, basically um, fish, um, concentrated fish stock, you know? You don't have to use too much because this is potent stuff. Much, it's quite potent. Yeah. But the uh, 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 Japanese chef who I used to work for, very well known one, this is a secret weapon. These guys are ready. You don't want to overcook the uh, squid because they will taste like rubber. Okay, yeah, I like caramelized Asian in my food, you know? Just adds more flavor. Now every chef has their own style. How would you describe your own style of cooking in the kitchen? My own style? Wow. I... Heads down, work hard. Up next, Maxi adds an intimate touch to the white marinara black pasta.